Okay. Hi, welcome back to Spice and Easy. I'm Alan as, as normal. Hello, it's Fiona with the funky hair. And I'm normal with Stutter. It's Sunday, so we're doing again the Saturday taste test on a Sunday. So we're allowed this. Oh, cheers. My mine's clean. I've already had some. <laughs> Wine is so nice. Right. Three parts to today's. Ooh. Pardon you. Pardon me. It's got blood. a slight fizz to it, isn't it, that wine? It's mm. like a mineral, it's called on the bottle. Um, chicken nuggets. Not chilies. It's nuggets. <laughs> and we're doing a taste test review, but also on the same video, an easy, an Irish classic low fat or lower fat. Um, sweet and sour dip, sweet and sour sauce. sauce. Yeah. Not Indian. If you watch the path here, it's not Indian. Get Indian out your head. It's Chinese. Chinese sweet and sour. And ours will have chilies in it. Well, not to start with. Yeah, pineapple. You do have pineapple in some of them. Hmm. There's some sickos out there who put pineapple on pizzas. I'm saying nothing, Chloe. So, yeah, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they do it in sweet and sour. I think the one up here from us does, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah, oh, well. But I'm going to put it in anyway because it does add a bit of sweet sourness to it. It's lower fat. You'll see the ingredients and all that a lot later. Also, quick, easy, and I believe vegetarian friendly, yeah. vegan friendly. No, not, not vegan. vegan. Vegetarian friendly. The sweet and sour sauces and. The egg fried rice, which is really, really easy to do. That's after these, because we're going to have sweet and sour chicken balls the cheap man's way. Yeah. And we're going to be using chicken nuggets. Obviously in batter. Yeah, and corn. But veg are these vegan as well? I'm not sure. What about the batter? Corn are... I don't know. if the Might not be because of the batter. They're egg in it, surely. What does that say? I don't know. No, net mums, well, I don't know what net mums is, so I can't see vegan on here anywhere, but the oh there. Vegetarian. Yeah, vegetarian society of Right, so I don't think they're vegan then. So vegetarian, sweet and sour, not chicken balls. Yes. So that's your first one anyway that's going on the test. That'll be in there. Corn, crispy nuggets, all of these are in batter. Because obviously sweet and sour chicken rolls, which we normally have, or I normally have, is in batter. So hard to get them in batter. Yeah, They're all in breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, yeah. Um, so corn crispy nuggets. That's the first one. Two pound. Yeah, two pound those. Yeah, they definitely was. This is the one I want to try because it's a whacking bag. This for is farm food. Three quid. Yeah, three quid. Thirty-six chicken nuggets. Rhode Island. Yeah, Chicken that's snack. the mate, Rhode oh, Island, so it's not farm food design. This own. one's worrying me because it says chopped, formed and seasoned minced chicken breast. Oh, it's not yeah. proper chicken breast and it's reformed. That's I'm looking forward to them, I'm now not. No, uh, but we'll see how we go. So that's that one. But if you've got kids, and you know what kids are like, they don't care what's being rammed in the mouth, whether it's breasts or reformed chicken, three quid for a bag of 36, job done. You can do it cheap, sweet and sour and save yourself a fortune. Yes. Next one, brand name, Bird's Eye. Now, apparently a big company like Bird's Eye don't do chicken nuggets in batter. No. They do them in breadcrumbs, so we've had to get chicken dippers. Same thing, but they're a bit bigger. So, if you don't do them Bird's Eye, why? It's nuggets. They probably do, but you're not every shot from the top every line, can um, you? That's Mum's what, Net rated as well. What is Mum's Net? I don't know. It must be something to do with children. Uh, Obviously, mums. If you know what mums that is, drop a comment because I ain't got a clue. I ain't a mum. Funnily enough. <laughs> uh, so that's that one. Uh, next one, Iceland. Uh, 30 in, but it says extra large. And this does say 100% breast fillet. So we'll see how we go with those. And how much I don't know. Iceland. Where were those Iceland? Uh, £2. £2 for 30? Yeah. 
and they're breast fillet. That makes and they them look were, a bit sorry. Yeah, yeah three quid for 36, and that's chicken's toenails and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then the last one, and we have been warned, but bearing in mind, Clo in the Facebook group likes pineapple on pizza. We started an argument over it. <laughs> <laughs> Says these are not very good, but it does. These 20 battered dippers again. Tesco's don't know how to make a nugget. They can only make them in dipper sizes. I would have thought you just cut a bit off the end and put it in the batter, but I don't know. Um, they do them in breadcrumbs, but not in batter. And maybe it's 100% chicken breast, but it doesn't say if it's been reformed or if it's an actual piece. So we'll see in crispy batter. And they were £1.50. Mm. Yeah, well, there's only 20 in that and they're not extra large we shall see so that's what we're doing five of those followed by well it'll be tapped on somewhere sweet and sour sauce a lower fat version a quick and easy one so we'll see what it tastes like i've done it once before but it was slightly different so and easy egg fried rice and ooh, she's on the camera yeah. <laughs> she's not scared today no <laughs> I, I did actually it. say you've got to do the Rogan Josh and she was in the corner going, I, I wasn't, I didn't have time. I'm a very busy woman. Um, it takes ages to do nails, doesn't it? it uh, and they're still odd. <laughs> <laughs> they always say nails match the owner. Well, I'm odd then. <laughs> and that's it on that. So we're going to whack the oven on while that's, the oven's warming up and these are in. We'll do the sweet and sour first. Yep. And before that, I'm too long, I'll have a drink. Oh, it's Very nice. It's nice, really nice. I'll have some butt, no. no. Right, not. come on. On with it, catch you in the mouth. <laughs> now, come on. Right, you might see a little egg pop up because he's hovering, he knows there's chicken nuggets in the oven. And as well as us two, we've got... Spoonie! Spoonie. Right. Quick and easy, no oil in this, pans on, getting warm. So what we're going to go with, this should be enough for dipping nuggets and stuffing. Obviously, if you want it to pour over, double the quantity, but we'll see how much it makes. So we're going to go with rice wine vinegar first. And we will put... It's going to take your breath away. Two. Three. Four. Five of that. Five tablespoons that was. I'll just turn this down a bit. Next, we will go light soy sauce. One, two for that. Next, we will go for Marty, tomato ketchup. Now this one, to make it lower fat for you, is the reduced sugar and salt. Um, We'll do it now because it's going to clog the spoon up. We're not going for that first. We're going to go for sweetener because I don't want the sugar to stick to this sauce in this spoon. We've only got one. So this is sweetener again, making it lower fat. One. Two. Good job, it is sweetener. Three. Well, actually, when you're using sugar, you probably use a bit more. The trouble with sweetener is it's that fine look. It's just that's why I didn't want to do it after the tomato sauce. Quick stir with a spoonie. We'll turn that down a bit more now. You don't want it too high, obviously, because if you are using sugar, it's going to caramelise. So we have that right down or off. Do your trick. Done, done, done. Tomato sauce then. 
And guess who's not taught the little thing off the top? I thought I had, I did it on the other one I had this morning. And I can't get it off now. There we go. It's childproof. Mmm. Martyry. So, let's do this. Tomato sauce. One. Two. Three. Five. Six. Give that a quick stir, see what it's looking like. It's going to be dark because of the colour of the soy sauce that we've added. Hmm. I'll taste this and I might adjust the quantities here. How many have we put to now? This six. six. Seven tomato sauce, I know you said tomato puree then. So, seven of those. Now before we thicken it, and taste it. Do you want it more sour? Yeah, that'd no? be right. Mm -hmm. Right, that's sweet sour, easy done. What we're going to do now is add some pineapple just for clove. And it makes it look better as well. Turn that up a bit. Now it is, it is, it is. We're going to warm that up and see if it does thicken or, as I think it might do, get a bit thinner. And then what we've got in here, in here again, what one has in here is a teaspoon of corn flour mixed with water. And then if you want it slightly thicker, just add that teaspoon at a time and you'll get to your thickness. I think that probably does need a bit more, don't it, to be thicker. For dipping, yes. If you were having that with peppers and all that kind of thing in, it would be all right. Well, you're just going to pour it over the nuggets, aren't you, if you're having it as sweet and sour. Yeah. So we'll put a, three teaspoons of corn flour. That, straight away, thickening it. Once it warms up a bit as well, the corn flour will thicken. The sauce. The sauce will thicken. Um, when we're having this later, we're having some thinly sliced scotch bonnets in it for our jinnies. <laughs> well, I'm just going to wait for that to thicken slightly to see if it needs more corn flour. Cheers. Get out of here. Pig. Don't even go there. Yeah. <laughs> she always says that. <laughs> no comment. No. Yeah, it's going thicker now. Look, now it's warming up. It does look a bit dark from what you get, but that's because the Chinese use loads of different ingredients that are bad for you. They're like MSG. Oh dear, nearly. I wonder if you could use tomato puree, you know, instead of the tomato ketchup. Surely you would need more vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. Do it that way, because that's going to be even lower fat. Yeah, but for the quantity of this that you're having, it's not like you're going to have lashings, it's a dipping sauce. So, double up on your quantities, if you want this as a little tub, or you put it in a bowl and pour it over your chicken, 
and on top of the egg fried rice that we're doing. So you can have it like your takeaway, sweet and sour chicken balls or corn if you're using the corn ones, depending on which one's winning the test because they're in the oven. And you better hurry up, they'll be burnt. Well, you're, you put them in, so that'll be about right, won't it? If, right. It's not pizza, they should be fine. Let's see. Final taste. That's hot. That's nice for sweet and sour, isn't it? Actually, it's better with the pineapple in. I have to say. Oh, it. don't say that. She'll <laughs> never let us live it down on Facebook. <laughs> it's, it's nice, it's sweeter. It's because you've used sweetener, not sugar. And that's it. There we have it. Look, I'm going to put that in a bowl. Which I have to hand. Which was all ready. How quick was that? I was just going to say, I can't see splodges and you've done it. Oh, there is one there, look. <laughs> there we go. Yep, looks lovely. Sweet and sour sauce, done. Easy way. So easy, it tastes nice. That's it on that one, because that's going on the finished dish when we have the chicken nuggets, etc. We're going to cut here and get the nuggets out. Right, we're going to do the test. There's your nuggets all lined up, nuggets and dippers some people who don't know how to make a nugget I thought you'd just cut that bit off and it's a nugget but there we go so sweet and sour dip we're going to try the nuggets on their own and then we're going to try it with a dip but these have all been in the same amount of time and it states that they all should be the same amount of time so we'll try these we've got wine there I've got wine and beer and he's waiting for anything. Give me a nugget. I want a nugget. Give me a nugget, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's set this camera up and crack on. So, here we go. I've got lightweight here. Couldn't keep up with the wine. So, I have to have beer. IPA. Ghost shit by Adnams, I think. It's really nice. I'm on the same glass of wine. But... When she did catch up, I thought I'd better have that as well. <laughs> Cheers. Muppet down here is now sitting there waiting for wine or beer or nuggets. Anything. Right, let's crack on the first ones. Are they really the bird eye ones? Yes. I'll say off the bat now, the worst looking ones are the bird's eye. That's a close second. Because they are both flat. Papers. So, let's try this. We'll try them on their own first. Well, it is fillet, that's one thing. And the batter don't fall off. Hmm. I'm not impressed. No. <laughs> I thought maybe it was just me. <laughs> no, it's just... Hmm. Where's the chicken? <laughs> The batter's got no flavour. It's crispy. It is crispy, but... But, to me, it yeah. did say 100% breast fillet. Yeah. Because to me, that looks like reformed. It looks reformed with a few... Yeah. It, it's few not a very nice texture. Yeah. For bird's eye, I'm disappointed because I like their fish fingers. Let's have a dip in there. But the end's hard as well. Rock hard. This will make it taste better. Hmm. Do make that sweet and sour sauce because that is nice, isn't it? Mm, we're not reviewing that. <laughs> huh? We're not reviewing that in a minute. <laughs> but yes, it's lovely. No, but that's up before these because mm. I'm going to put it in before. What you'll find with the sweet and sour sauce it is a bit more, if it's a word again, tomato y than you take away. I didn't want to make it so it was all that. Acid vinegary tart. I want it to have more flavour because if you're doing nuggets for kids, they're going to like that with more tomato flavour. And I would say it's thickened up a treat now it's been mm -hmm. sat. Well, so there you go. I'll leave mine there. Oh, it's got a right bag on. I've always seen it now. 
Next ones are Iceland. Oh, they're nice and soft. These are a bit soft. Now look at that. When you break that, that's proper fillet. Is it? it yeah. No, I don't know. That's not fillet to it's, me. It's not as like mincy as minced up as the. No, but it's not. Got to be careful when you say mincy. That means something else. Mm. Years gone by. Oh. Um. To me, when it says chicken breast fillet, I would think of a slice of chicken breast wrapped in batter, not. Chopped up, chunked out, and put in. Right, butter. you had two sound effects, Em. I One did. was my stomach. You keep them both to yourself. One was from him, and it wasn't from his stomach or his mouth. Don't give him any more. I'm right, I will say. You can tell they're not McDonald's nuggets or anything like that, but no. they're better than the birds are. Mm -hmm. I think, anyway. You've got more taste and the batter tastes better. More crispy, isn't it? Rather than hard. Mm. But now there's a good shot. <laughs> if you can see that, these are cooked. If you can't, zoom in. You've got about the same gap at the top, full of fresh air, as there is at the bottom that's supposed to be full of chicken. It looks like one of them pasties. <laughs> you know, it's full of air at the top. I could forgive it because it's Iceland, so it's cheap food. And they do taste better than the bird's eye. I can't forgive bird's eye. Look at that. <laughs> that is bird's eye. Yeah. Looks yeah, to what it they said. probably had a few minutes more than what they said, but even no, then... Didn't. They had it spot on. Even then, it's like... No, I'm disappointed with the bird's eye. really am. These ones are not bad. For Iceland's own. We need to put... On here, your thoughts whilst... So, at the minute, do you agree that Iceland are better than bird's eye? Yeah. Hmm. Next one. Tesco. Before we have that, we need to press in the palette. Oh. Charles! I can't show you what wine it is. Because I think I've just lobbed the bottle. Oh, it's over there. I'm like, I'll show you at the end what wine gone? it is. Yeah. Oh. Well, you can finish this after you've met that if you stop light waiting and sipping it because I've got beer. It's only halfway through the day and we hadn't eaten. Silly Sunday! Right, come on. And we're still sober. Now, these are Tesco's. These are being slated by somebody on the Facebook group. Hello? Um, so, the textures, it's not bad. Batter's not bad, and at least. The texture's not the breast. It's filled it. Although they are flat compared to them. Mm. That's Tesco chicken roll wrapped in batter. That's what it reminds me of. Do you know, up to now, all three of these, I've not, I wouldn't say, I'd be impressed with the chicken flavour. It do not taste the chicken on any of them. They're actually good when you dip them because you can just taste the sweet and sour dip. That's, I'd say that's probably worse than Iceland, but not as bad as bird's eye. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'd say I, at the minute, Iceland won. I'd tie both of them for poor mm. myself. Bearing in mind, though, normally it's kids that are going to have these, so they don't care. It's rammed in the face and swallowed. And that's it. Nuggets. So the next one. This is Farm Foods Rhode Island. And there's no mention of chicken breast on the bag for these. Now Rhode Island is the make. It's not Farm Foods own as far as I know. And looks wise they look the best of the lot. They do. Crispy like a proper nugget. That is a proper fillet. Look. How that broke then. Mm. Smells better and the batter's lighter and it's not gone hard. And I can taste chicken. Mm, I prefer that than any of the other three up to now. <laughs> and these are three quid for 36, are they? Mm. What do you think? <laughs> Your mouth then. Mm. What do you think? And he smelled it first. 
Look at that. You don't know he swallowed it too quick to taste it. Needs another one to check. That's my favourite up to now. Mm. Yep. After you taste the chicken, the batter is not hard and it's been cooked the same as the others. The batter's filled it. There's no gap at the top. And looks wise, yeah, actually it looks like best, a nugget. Yeah, it's the best looking nugget. Yeah, nice. Ever. And 36 for three quid. If you've got two kids, they can have 18 nuggets, whack up some of that, and that's it. 18 nuggets? Yeah, <laughs> 18 nuggets each. Well, they could have, six well, you got, have some more for another day. <laughs> if it was a bad winter, you'd have three kids, they can have six nuggets each. If it was a summer like this year, you might have three kids. Because, by the way, weatherman, Indian summer, next fortnight, 25 degrees. Who pays you your wages? Because they're an idiot and you need sacking. It's wazzing it down. <laughs> What's the temperature? 17. <laughs> mm. You're not watching this. If you didn't do your job and you kept doing it wrong, you'd get sacked. Come on. And if you heard a noise, somebody's just entered the Facebook group giveaway competition today. So if you're not joined, it's your own fault, you missed out. <laughs> right. Um, before we've gone to the last one, I'm having a little bit of that, because that was nice. If I'd have brought them home for you, you'd have went, ooh, not eating them. Well, we wouldn't have bought them. Them ones are nice. They are. They're the best out of all of them so far. Bird's eye, to me at the minute, are the worst. Well, no, joint worse with Tesco. Yeah, Tesco won't go. Now, then. the last one. Corn. Looks like a nugget. Not chicken nuggets. So it doesn't matter how it breaks. And it breaks exactly the same as the other chicken ones. Yeah, and it looks like a nugget as well. Yeah. Chicken. It looks like a nugget. It looks like chicken. I well, know it's not. Obviously, it doesn't taste of chicken. No, but it's a damn good alternative. It's very, very, very close taste wise to bird's eye because <laughs> there's about as much chicken taste in that as there is in the corn and the Tesco one. Yeah, you agree then, do you? Uh, Iceland's own. I think Iceland's own were better because they're a bit better shaped. They're not flat like them, completely flat. But in the dip. Dip, 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 dippy. <laughs> Who's a dippy? Mummy's a dippy. That was my bit. I know that's not chicken, but that's my favourite. Right. I think we're going to agree on three of the places. The bottom ones. <laughs> Stir it in Quarry. What's this for then? For me. Just the corn one. Mm. I would you say. Can talk, then. Okay. <laughs> For me, bird's eye, considering they were, what, they were the most expensive? Well, getting there. I think so. They're the worst. They're thin. They're hard. There's not even breadcrumbs or batter on that little bit. No. I wouldn't really feed them to the dog. I wouldn't so, buy them for the dog. Let's put it that way. But they're not the best. I think you can see them. He's there, look. You're there, chicken. Come here. Oh, he's got dribble everywhere. <laughs> you can hear him, can't you? Say please. Uh, please. <coughs> Was that please? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Just give it to me. That's it. Go right down there. No right. chance. <laughs> right. My decision's done. The best. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> the sweet and sour dip. 
Try that, that's really nice. Right. Go for your last while I have a swig. Oh, I've got my wine to finish first. I have. Bird's eye. It's Bird's eye's your last. Yes. My last. And then it's... Oh, right, I'm going to be picky here. And my last is bird's eye. Purely because I've made thicker omelettes than that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my last. Not for taste, because... All of my last three were, were not very nice. No, none of them have got any flavour. So I'm going to be picky so I don't have to have a tie. Last place, bird's eye, because it's flat. It looks like it's been sat on. And that's not just that one, all three of them that we cooked from there were the same. So yeah, I agree. My next last one, <laughs> so in other words, it's still not nice, is Tesco's. Yeah, I agree again. It's light. If there's chicken in there, I'll be surprised. It's a, it's a dipper, not a nugget first, which is what the bird's eyes were. But I think maybe it's because of the shape. You know, because they're so narrow and thin, they're just cooking quicker than they say. I don't know, but it's just, they're not good. I've not said it for a while. What? A row! <laughs> yeah, that's my second last. Hans, you're breaking my balls. Hans, you're breaking my balls. Come on. <laughs> What's your... Next. Team America, watch it. See if you've got a warped sense of humour like me. Yeah, my, my I'm the same. On fourth place is the Tesco. The only reason it's fourth and not last is because it's a bit thicker than the bird's eye. Still doesn't tell you. And it, that to me looks like reformed. Mm. That does not look like chicken fillet. Chicken fillet breast or whatever. Are you the same as me though? If it says chicken breast fillet, it should be a slice of chicken breast. Coated in batter. I expect when you break it, you can see like the fibres of the chicken. Yes, but not reformed. It should be chicken. Hmm. Yeah. 100% chicken best is a cook. Best breast. Yes, exactly. I don't know. Um, best from your breasts. Uh. And to be fair, none of them, <laughs> saying nothing, none of them were proper. D yeah, breasts. it's like it's 100% chicken breast, but I don't think they know what reformed means. Yes, that's it. They're all been munged up it's and like, put into a yeah, shape. Mashed up. Made into a shape where it should be a piece of chicken that's cut out. Yes. Then they'll say, well, yeah, but then we've got to put the price up. Well, you're expensive enough anyway for a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. So, I agree on bird's eye last, Tesco fourth, which is next to last, only because Tesco's is a bit thicker and it still hasn't got a lot of flavour. Neither had the batter. Third. Iceland. Yeah, I agree again. Oh, I do not believe that. <laughs> if you heard that, that was not me. That is American Bulldogs who are known for it. He's excited. He's hungry. And he's just sat on the hard toe floor. <laughs> and he's just sat down. And he's trying to tell us that there's nothing in his air but stomach. <laughs> and nothing in his air but stomach. Nothing in his stomach but air. <laughs> And now you can sit we there thinking, to I'm a film star. I'm leaving that in. It was the dog, not me. 100%. That's just wrong, Zeus. Who was it? Zeus, the dog. <laughs> I've gone red for it. Right. If you ever think you're getting one of these, because they're brilliant family pets, they're good with kids, just be warned, read up on them, and it will mention in it they are known for wind. And the size of the dog? They're massive mm. wind. <laughs> he can clear a room with one. <laughs> oh, right, that's out of the way. The that. chicken's gone off. <laughs> no, I think that was his. Putrefied. <laughs> this chicken smells of eggs. Um, yeah, third. I'll go for the normal Iceland. Yes. Oh, no, that was farm films anyway, weren't it? They yeah. um, it does. It is a nugget, not a dipper. It has stayed a bit thicker, not flattened out. It has got more texture. Smells like chicken. Yeah. The batter's not falling away. There's no gap, so it's filled with chicken. I could eat them. I wouldn't be disappointed if I got them on a plate. Where well, I would with the first two. Um, so yeah, I agree. Yeah. Third. For me, the only one that said... Never was, mind for you. For him, he thinks he's getting more chicken. I don't think he is. Don't you dare. 
uh, for me, the only packet that said reformed chicken, so all of these are meant to be breast, this is a reformed one, was the Roquefort. Or Does it actually called. say that, aren't it? That? Yeah, it says on the packet, it says reformed chicken. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, and is that that one? Yeah. And yet... I know. Right. Which one's that? I don't know. I think that's actually the cord. Tesco. Right. So this is your second, yeah? Yeah. I'm agreeing. Rhode Island is the mate from Farm Foods. Carry on with your analysis. Uh, it was the only one that said it was reformed chicken, but you can actually taste the chicken in it. It's got exactly the same texture as all the others that have said they're 100% breast. Yeah, same. Batter's better. Mm -hmm. Again, there's no gap between the chicken and the batter, so they've not all filled it. No. Yeah. It's not exactly the same. I can't smell anything. To me, that one smells chicken. So does that one? That one smells chicken, but it's not as strong, and that's the oh. reformed. It's definitely stronger chicken smell. Mm. So yeah, I agree. Second is that. Now, if you look at that, there's no difference. No, that one is reformed. That one is supposed to be hundred percent chicken breast. If you could see it on camera, you tell me the difference. That was the Tesco one, but you could do it with any of them, and they all look exactly the same. They don't look any different to the corn so one. Either somebody's lying. Or somebody doesn't know what reformed means, and hundred percent chicken breast. The technicality is they'll say legally, "Oh yeah, well, it's hundred percent chicken breast." Yeah, we cut it and made it into a shape. To me, that's not what it means. No. So, yeah, second, three pound a bag for thirty six. If you got one kid, oh, they're going to be a bloater. <laughs> They'll last eat a week. lot. <laughs> no, nah, eat them all in one go. But they are the second best taste. No, sorry. I've got mine wrong. That's first. your second. No, that's my first. What's your second? Second was Iceland. You don't mention that one. That's my favourite. That's coming. Well, that's first then. But that's not chicken, is it? Well, no, but it's compared to these. You're not oh, going yeah. off again and not getting a second place, are you? All right, then they got second. Hmm. They right. got the first out of the chicken. But given my preference out of all of them, I'd rather have the now, corn. Your second overall yeah, is, is that one we've just had. Rhode Island from Farm Foods, 36 in a bag, yeah? Yep. But that it wins out of the chicken ones, is what you're saying. Yes. Second overall. I'm just going to judge them all the same because to me, if it's vegetarian and they're calling it a nugget, you should be able to compare it to chicken. Yes. So. If I'm comparing it to chicken, it's still better. My second place overall out of five is the corn. Yeah. Don't you eat that? I've been saving that bit. <laughs> yes, it's the corn. I like the corn. But eat your own bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wine instead. <laughs> right, so I can't believe that I'm not vegetarian, but I actually prefer. Corn, chicken style nuggets. Yes. Over three of what should be chicken nuggets. What yes. should be 100% chicken breast nuggets, one of which is bird's eye, which is a big company. Yeah. Yeah, so out of the five, I'm not going to split it vegetarian chicken. I'm judging them all as nuggets. Corn comes second. It beats the Tesco's nuggets. It beats... The bird's eye nuggets, and it beats the Iceland nuggets. Don't you? That's mine. I'm saving that for off camera. You might as well eat it. They know what pig you are. This is my favourite. <laughs> See you later. Um, <laughs> I don't get anything nice. Crack on. Do you know what I'll get for taste? You'll cook new ones. I'll get these bits here. <laughs> That'll be it. You have a shot because you're cooking. I've just done that. Now I don't know which was my favourite. It's gone. My favourite, my favourite, is the one that says reformed. Mm. Not 100% chicken breast. It was 
Rhode Island is the brand. It's from Farm Foods. It's three quid for 36. And to me, it tasted like a chicken nugget. And the batter was nice. And it just tasted nice compared to the others. And there was no difference consistency wise and texture wise to the ones that said it was 100% chicken no. breast. It's exactly the same. And for three quid for 36, you can't fault that. Yeah, I'm going for the Rhode Island from Farm Food first, corn second, and that is on taste, texture, how they look, and everything. It actually beats the other three, including the bird's eye. Bird's eye. That's the bird's eye. Look at that. Yeah, the dog will enjoy that. <laughs> that says it all. It's just, the, the reason that feels harder, right, you've either got to take these out just before they're cooked enough for what you want because mm -hmm. they will keep cooking a bit when they're out because if you cook them as long as they say, they just go, all the moisture's gone out of them and they're just not very nice. So it's all right if you've got a 12-year-old who don't care what he's eating. I've got chicken nuggets and I'll ram them in my chops and job done. But if you're thinking about taste-wise for yourself, or your kids are fussy, get down to farm foods or buy a bag of corn. Mm. Right, shall we get corn to the rice? Right, take two. Cameraman needs sacking. Um, egg fried rice, quick and easy way. Low fat and well, lowish fat, vegetarian friendly. I'll turn that off because the oil's been on for a while, it gets too hot. And because it's vegetarian friendly, I normally put Worcester sauce in, but we're not. So, ingredients are one good teaspoon of five spice, three eggs, oil using spray oil, rapeseed to cut down on the oil and fat content, calorie content. Light soy sauce and rice. Now your rice should be only just or probably not quite cooked. This has been cooking while it's been standing there and we were doing the chicken nugget test review. So it's actually cooked, but it don't matter because it's that quick. It's not going to go over overcooked and stodgy. That's all you need. So onto the pan. We'll turn it back on and we'll turn the right one on. So in go the eggs first. As soon as you add one, it is spatula -y. It ain't you know, spoony. spoon has been sat for this portion. Just get that, keep stirring it, get the eggs, you know, you're just scrambling them, in other words. One done. It will stick a bit, but that'll come away as some of the moisture goes in. We'll turn it down a bit. One done. Two done, three done. Do this a bit quick because if not, you're going to end up frying the eggs and you don't want them fried. Turn that round. And this is so easy. Now this is going to stick a bit because it's an old pan and like the spoons, I don't like chucking them out. Well, as I say, when the rice goes in, it'll be all right. That's about there. It doesn't matter if it's not quite done because you want it to mix in with the rice anyway. So the next bit is start to add the rice. No quantity on the rice because you can put more if you want. This will do for people what I'm doing here. Put some of that in. Now is when you need another spatula so you can hold it, toss it in, whatever you want to call it. Start mixing the egg in with the rice. Obviously, if you're not doing this in a low fat version, you're going to have more oil. So, you'll have the proper consistency you get when you order your Chinese takeaway, and it will be easier to mix. But it's as nice as it is. Now, that there is enough for two, but we're going to keep going because we're doing enough for four people here. So, that means a bit for me and Fiona has to. Three portions. The camera says it all, dear. Camera ain't spoken. You didn't deny it. 
<laughs> Oops! Yes, battery number two. Not the same as spoon, is I it? I think that's a fish slice. In yeah, disguise. It might be. It's got a, a punk hairstyle. <laughs> so, rice everywhere. You will do that with this. It is going to be easier in a wok. Now, a couple of reasons we're not doing that. A, the cameraman butchered the last wok we've got and we've had to chuck it away. Because it was non-stick, so she managed to get food to stick in it and ruin it. I say nothing. <laughs> And also, not everybody has a wok. You don't want a big wok taking up your space in your cupboard. So, big frying pan does the work. You see now, you've got the egg mixed in with your rice. So that's that done. I've now actually not used all the rice at the minute. And I'm not going to do. There's probably one portion left in there. So, for quickness. And yes, it is sticking, but actually they're the best bits, I think. The bits that are done crispy. But that's that done. Eggs mixed in. In goes your five spice. If you don't like five spice, tough. Put it in. It's Chinese. Not Indian. It is Chinese. Oh, I can smell it already, can you? No. Have a whack. Yes. Yeah, Didn't do that when Zeus dropped one not long ago, did we? No. If you have jumped forward and missed half of it out, you've missed the right one. And you shouldn't be doing that anyway. Watch the old video. Zeus's most embarrassing moment caught on camera. Right, your colours there, look. That's now looking the colour of what you're going into. So, that's your fire spice in. What's the sauce? No, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. I do use Worcester when I do it. It's vegetarian, so it's soy and not soy and Worcester. Quantity wise, I ain't telling you. It's down to you. I'll just whack it in. Oh, now nah, that smells nice. Just keep whacking it in. This is light soy. And that looks about the right amount because when that's mixed in properly you're going to get that colour you get with your egg fried rice. You can cut back on the soy if you want but I like it because it means I ain't got to whack as much salt in as I normally do. So if you want it a lighter colour and more likely take away, put a bit less soy in, you'll know when you're adding it how much you need. I'm going to add a bit of salt to this as well. Oh, yes, is this. A bit of salt. Quick stir. That's it. How quick was that? We didn't time that, did we? Seven minutes and ten seconds. Oh, it tells you on the camera, yeah. It does. Mm. Egg fried rice. Now, if you don't like this colour, mm, I don't like it, that's too brown. Don't put as much soy in. Because the soy is dark. I think you can. Some light soy sauces are actually the right colour, aren't they? Mm. We'll turn that off. Job done. Egg fried rice done. Hot. Hot, but. Honest opinion, off the bat. Mmm, it's good. Does it taste like egg fried rice? Yeah, it does. It does. And how easy was that? Dead easy. So, as I say, if you're going to say, oh, it's too dark, you don't get egg fried rice that colour. Yeah, I know it's a nice stick pan, but you already killed the pan, so it don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> don't put as much soy in as I did. If you want it a paler colour and you want it to look like your takeaway, 
but I'll put that much in because A, I love the taste of soy sauce and B, it means I ain't going to whack a load of salt in and you're now going to say, eh, it's too salty. So I've done it like that and that is mine and then you can, good tip here, make this and then chuck some veggies in it, peppers, mm. baby corn chopped into sliced and spring onions, spring onions, yeah, anything like that, you can have your own vegetable fried rice which is low fat and tasty and you can even put ham in there if you're not vegetarian and make it into a special fried rice dish yep and that's it so easy quick egg fried rice done chicken nuggets done we are going to do a quick outro on this if the camera don't go flat so we're going to chop it here i'm going to see you at the table in a mo Welcome back to the table. I don't know if I'm in the camera here. Hiya. <laughs> Hello. Right. First job. Oh no. Again, Sunday. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Window's been open. The dog smell's gone. <laughs> That was bad. It's a bit of a long one, this one, but in effect, you've got three videos in one. Yeah, you have, yeah. First off, sweet and sour. Try it. It is really nice. It is more on the tomato -y side. If you don't like that tomato taste too much, then cut back on the tomato sauce a bit, but still use the same ingredients. It's really nice for a sweet and sour. And you've not got any of the bleh that you have with your takeaways, like your MSG. MSGs, is that a new name for it? Bleh. Mm. Otherwise known as bleh. <laughs> um, don't cut your lipstick on if you don't want it on a glass. Because <laughs> when you try and wipe that, it off, it I'm looks sure. like you've painted the glass. Um, but yeah, try that. We've actually doubled up and we have made a bit more. Sweet and sour? Yes. And it's got scor red hot scorpion? No. Two. Scotch bonnets. Yes. <laughs> in it. In it. In it. In it. In it. And how long did it take you to make it? Oh, two minutes. Seconds. Really, really yeah. quick. And it's worth it. And it's healthier for you than your takeaway. So do try that. Sweet and sour. You can have it as a dipping sauce. Follow the quantities I put. If you want it poured over, like when you get your takeaway, double up. Yeah, which is, which is what we've done. That's it. You can say bye now and we're done. Yes, bye. And we'll catch you later. Spice and Easy signing off. Cheers. Hello. Goodbye. Ooh.